The Holocaust, also known as the Shoah, stands as one of the darkest chapters in human history, a grim testament to the horrors that can arise from unchecked hatred and totalitarian ideology. Taking place during World War II between 1941 and 1945, it was a systematic state-sponsored genocide orchestrated by Nazi Germany, led by Adolf Hitler, aimed primarily at the annihilation of the Jewish people. However, the Holocaust also targeted other groups, including the Romani people, disabled individuals, Polish and Soviet civilians, political dissidents, Jehovah's Witnesses, and homosexuals. The sheer scale and brutality of the Holocaust make it a profound historical tragedy, one that demands to be remembered and understood to prevent such atrocities from ever occurring again. The roots of the Holocaust can be traced back to a pernicious blend of long-standing anti-Semitic sentiment and the radical racist ideology of the Nazi party. Anti-Semitism in Europe had deep historical roots, but it was Hitler's virulent hatred of Jews, combined with the socio-political turmoil of post-World War I Germany, that set the stage for the genocide. The Treaty of Versailles, which ended World War I, imposed harsh penalties on Germany, leading to severe economic depression and national humiliation. The Nazis exploited this environment, promising to restore Germany's former glory and blaming Jews for the country's misfortunes. Upon seizing power in 1933, the Nazis swiftly began implementing their anti-Semitic agenda. This started with discriminatory laws, such as the Nuremberg Laws of 1935, which stripped Jews of their civil rights and prohibited marriage and sexual relations between Jews and Aryans. As the Nazis consolidated their power, these legal restrictions were followed by increasingly violent measures, including Kristallnacht in 1938, a coordinated attack on Jewish businesses, synagogues and homes across Germany and Austria, resulting in widespread destruction and the arrest of thousands of Jews. The outbreak of World War II in 1939 marked the beginning of a more aggressive and systematic phase of the Holocaust. As Nazi Germany invaded and occupied much of Europe, the regime began rounding up Jews and other targeted groups, confining them to ghettos under appalling conditions. These ghettos were overcrowded, lacked adequate food and sanitation, and served as a preliminary step before the victims were transported to concentration and extermination camps. The Wannsee Conference, held in January 1942, marked a pivotal moment in the Holocaust. During this meeting of senior Nazi officials, the final solution to the Jewish question was formalized, a plan to exterminate all Jews in Europe. The implementation of this plan saw the establishment and operation of extermination camps such as Auschwitz, Treblinka, and Sobibor, where mass killings were conducted using gas chambers. The efficiency and scale of these camps were horrifying, Auschwitz alone accounted for over a million deaths. Life in the concentration and extermination camps was a living nightmare. Prisoners were subjected to brutal forced labor, starvation, medical experiments, and relentless violence. The dehumanizing conditions stripped individuals of their dignity and humanity. Families were torn apart, with men, women, and children often sent to different camps or killed upon arrival. The Nazi regime's meticulous records and the testimonies of survivors paint a harrowing picture of the atrocities committed within these camps. By the end of the Holocaust in 1945, six million Jews had been murdered, along with millions of others who fell victim to the Nazi regime's brutal policies. The liberation of the camps by Allied forces revealed the full extent of the horror, as soldiers encountered emaciated survivors, mass graves, and the remnants of the Nazi killing machinery. The world was confronted with undeniable evidence of the genocide, leading to widespread shock and horror. In the aftermath of the Holocaust, the international community grappled with the moral and legal ramifications of such an unprecedented crime. The Nuremberg Trials, held between 1945 and 1946, sought to bring Nazi war criminals to justice, establishing important precedents for international law and the prosecution of crimes against humanity. The Holocaust also spurred the establishment of the United Nations and the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, aiming to prevent future genocides and protect human rights globally. Today, the Holocaust serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked hatred, bigotry, and totalitarianism.
It underscores the importance of vigilance, education, and remembrance in combating anti-Semitism, racism, and all forms of discrimination. Holocaust education plays a crucial role in this endeavor, ensuring that future generations understand the gravity of these events and the importance of safeguarding human dignity and rights. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel for more in-depth historical narratives. Don't forget to like and share this video and leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support helps us continue to create educational content that brings history to life. Thank you for watching.